Hey, this is Gabriel Castro here, and on my workbench, I just got this uh, StarTech uh, USB to VGA external video card adapter for PC and Mac. Um, I ordered this on Amazon. It was like 66 bucks. I got it within a day, and uh, we're going to plug this in on my laptop. I've got two screens, and I bought this. So that we can go to three screens. It's got some uh, documentation. Oh, look. So you can go to CD drive, so that's cool. So I don't have to look for any drivers. Um, let's see if we can get this out of here. Okay, so that's what it looks like unboxed, and then we'll just hook it up to the computer next. Okay, so on my Mac, I have two screens so far. That one is, this one is an HDMI screen, and then this one here is just a regular monitor um, going to the VGA. I have this hooked up, that's plugged in, connected to the VGA. But that is not plugged in yet. This says to uh, use the driver and my laptop. It actually has the slot for it because it's an older model. It's a 2009 laptop. And we'll go ahead and start that up and go through the process and see how long that takes. Okay, so back to the screen here. When I loaded the CD, uh, it didn't work for me, so I had to end up going online to their drivers like it says in their documentation. And for my system is this one right here, the OS 1011. And um, when I clicked on that, uh, I used the Display Link installer. That did not work, so I had to uninstall it. And I had to use the previous driver version. When I installed that, that worked, uh, you know, shut down and all that kind of stuff, doing exactly what it says along the way. Um, I plugged it in, it recognized it. So now I have my third screen here. So this is. This is actually configured as my third screen, and there's my second screen. So if I go to my settings here, um, I'm going to move this back. Go to display settings, arrangement. And you can see how I have that arranged. This one is my first monitor. Let me back out a little so you can see that. See that red line. Go to my second monitor. You can see that red line. And then to my third monitor. Oh, let me click on it. Okay, then you, you can see all three of them are, are working correctly. Uh, now, this one is a, a little slow, barely, but I can still watch a YouTube video on this one if I need to, but I don't. I'm just using it for a local host output, so I can do my, my code on the, on the main screen, follow YouTube tutorials on my second screen, and back to the third screen to see what, what is actually going on. So anyway, that is my quick little setup.
and uh, I hope that helps someone. Have a good day.